Some people may look at what I'm doing as a lot of work. I look at it as, as, as a privilege and a blessing. Stitch by stitch. See where that yarn rides across there? That's a callus. Hour by hour. How long have you been working on this thing? Oh, a year? Yeah. The patriotic patterns yeah. slowly, methodically take shape. Red, white, and blue. Here at Joseph Harp Correctional this is Center, the first flag Afghan that was made. You'll find incarcerated volunteers giving thanks to military veterans. When we got this picture back of Raymond Ames with that smile on his face, we were hooked. We had to make more of them. Inmate Eric Fowler is the coordinator of the Flag Afghan Project, using donated yarn and inmate labor. I have taught Marines how to crochet. I have taught murderers how to crochet. I have taught guys on the yard that until they got involved in the Flag Afghan Project were nothing but bullies. This team has crocheted hundreds of American flag blankets. Every state in the Union has at least one Flag Afghan in seven different countries. Heart and soul woven into every Afghan. We spend a lot of time praying for these people when we're making these flag Afghans. And one of the things that I discovered, and it's a good time for introspection and meditation. So I say the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, quite often while I'm crocheting. The motto here is this, though we cannot serve our country, we will serve those who have. One Afghan went to veteran Guy Groniger. And he passed away a couple years later and he was buried in a casket that he made out of cedar and his dress blues wrapped in his flag afghan. That's the greatest honor I've had in my life besides my children. That's the guy, that's my favorite one. If we send them something that they want. This behind bars ministry also makes hats and scarves for area homeless. This is for hats for homeless heroes. This, these will go to our homeless veterans in Oklahoma City. And toys for disadvantaged children. It really does make you feel good. They receive no payments, just the occasional note of gratitude. We call that a million dollar paycheck. Freely giving back to the men and women who have given everything. I just send thank you for your service. I think more Americans need to do that.